page controller design pattern. Uh, this page controller design pattern belongs to representation pattern, and uh, this representation patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, we will see the explanation of uh, page controller design pattern. Um, this is the explanation. Yeah, an object that handles a request for a specific page or action on a website. So, any object that handles a request for this particular page or action on the website that is called a page controller. Okay. And uh, second point is there is a one-to-one -one mapping in between page and controller. Meaning, for each page, one controller will be there. Suppose uh, if we have uh, 10 uh, JSP pages, then we have to write 10 controller as per this page controller design pattern. And uh, third point is uh, page controller has one input controller for each logical page of the website. So that is what uh, I told in the previous uh, sentence. So for each logical page, one controller will be there. If some Suppose 10 pages are there, then 10 page controller will be there. That is what uh, this design pattern says. Uh, we'll see one example. So here you can see a JSP page. Uh, for this JSP page, one uh, page controller will be there. Uh, so whatever request comes from this JSP page will be handled by this page controller. And it will update this model. And uh, based on the model information, it will decide uh, which view to uh sent it to the uh, client so it will decide which which view it should uh, send it to the client based on the uh, model information okay and here you can see as per this design pattern for each view uh, one uh, controller will be there suppose uh, view one is there then uh, one controller for view one and view two is there send then one controller for view two so this will handle uh, all v1 related action and uh, this will handle all v2 related actions suppose say we have uh, two jsp pages and uh, this jsp page uh, what it will do is uh, it will search the address in the system and it will display and this jsp page add address to jsp page uh, if user enters some address information in that uh, page, it will just add that information to the database. So this, this are uh, this both are uh, different. This will do one functionality and this will do one functionality. Uh, so there are two JSP page. So as per this page controller design pattern, what we have to do is we have to uh, we have to write uh, one controller for handling this such a restart JSP request, and we have to write uh, one controller for handling this add address JSP request. Okay, so we have uh, two controllers. One controller for search address. Uh, the search address controller will handle search address related request, and this uh, add address controller will handle add address uh, JSP related request. And uh, this is about uh, page controller uh, design pattern. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.